Hello and welcome to something new, something I've been talking about for a while. This is the Play Minecraft server. Um, I haven't really talked about playing this particular game because it wasn't released um, back when I was talking about playing minigames on servers. But this is Camelot. Um, it's a very basic PvP game um, with its team pace. There are three teams green team, the red team and the blue team. Um, and we're already fighting. We are on team green and we kill the red guy, that's good. Let's maybe try to get that archer, yes. Uh, that one, okay, I think we got three kills, yeah that's decent. Um, so let's maybe talk about, uh, so blue is going to take it, so let's go the other way. There's three the gates, the key. and uh, once a team controls the keep, only one gate is open, so you have to be aware of uh, which gate is open at the time. It's always the gate that's furthest away from the spawn of the team that controls the keep. So blue spawns over there, so that the gate on this side is open now. Don't really get what those guys are trying to do here. What they are fighting downstairs, even though they're not controlling the keep, but that's to be expected. So still blue team is controlling the keep. So there's three basic sets of classes. I, I only have the three starter classes unlocked. I, I haven't really uh, played that much and um, the gold that I did earn so far, I spent for the most part on upgrades for dwarves versus zombies, so I don't have a lot of um, upgrades for Camelot. So let's actually try to get upstairs. Oh, there's a bunch of knights here. They have heavy armor, so I'm going to have a hard time killing anyone here. Teammates coming up. That's good. Uh, I'm a little bit faster than the knights, so I can run away. And I haven't really done a good job of explaining the game so far, but why are you fighting me? so many blue guys it doesn't seem like my team really cares about winning the game yeah no they don't um, so there's three basic classes there's the berserker class uh, the knight and the ranger um, basically the berserker is a melee damage guy he doesn't have a lot of um, armor and he or for healing he only has uh, bock chops uh, he has a Rage Potion, which uh, increases his damage massively for, I think, 20 seconds. Yes, 20 seconds. Um, and that's about it. You have an, an axe to hit people with, and uh, you are pretty squishy, so you can take a lot of hits. I don't really get why the red team is fighting us at the gate here. But they are. Someone is healing him, and that's really not good. So let's try and save. Couldn't save him. Come on, die. I don't know what class it is, but it's one of health potions, apparently. That's weird. So let's get... Ah, that didn't go as well as I hoped it would, so let's... Okay, we have a few guys up here now, maybe... Ah. 
Ah, couldn't couldn't do it. Um, but yeah, so the the goal is to control it, keep when the timer runs out. The timer is that bar at the top, which is usually the boss health bar, and I think it's it is a boss health bar actually. I think there's a dragon underneath the map that just slowly dies or something. So the goal is to control the keep. You control the keep by having more people than anyone else on top there. Just need to be on the top floor, not exactly in the middle. Yeah, there's just too many. I don't know where my team is going and what my team is doing. We have... I don't know, I can count so fast, but it looks like we have even teams. I don't know what's going on. I mean, a bunch of them are, are here on the road. The red team has taken the castle. Which isn't helping at all. Um, kills outside don't really matter at all. They don't even uh, matter for the statistics. There's a website where you can check your stats, and there's leaderboards, and there's special titles for the best players or the players with the most kills, who aren't necessarily the best players. Are they after me? They sort of are. That's weird. I don't know what class it is, but his armor is breaking and he's down. Okay. That's really OP with the splash potions. They heal for a lot, so it's really hard to kill the guys with the splash potions. But so far, I've, I've only been playing Berserker, which is. I don't know, it's just. It's more fun than playing Knight. But I guess I should talk about the other classes as well. So the Knight uh, has a ton of armor, so it's harder to kill. And he also has health potions. Um, that you can use to heal him. And those health potions also give him a resistance buff, so he takes significantly less damage after drinking his potions for a while. Come on, go down. Yes, okay, we got that guy. And we're slowly taking the keep. Or maybe not. Our team's got reinforcements and we didn't, so we won't be able to take it now. But, but the knight is also very slow, so... He doesn't do a lot of damage and he's very slow, but he can take a lot of hits, so he's the tank. Ah, oh, the guy had knockback. And then there's the ranger, he has a bow, uh, but very low health and little armor, so he's also very squishy. But he can do a lot of damage. Uh, so if you can get in a good position with the archer, he's uh, very powerful. Red is controlling the keep, so we should go to the blue gate now, not to the red one. And then there's uh, a bunch of uh, classes you can unlock. So let's get rid of that guy here, fighting on the road. So in theory, we should team with the blue team now to get rid of the red guys who are controlling the blue team controls the keep the keep but that never happens and now the blue team took it and we're going the long way around I just realized you should have gone the other way because this gate is closed and the other one is open We need to get upstairs though, the blue team is controlling it and we are killing... Oh, that was weird. Somehow it insta drank the potion, I didn't know how that happened. Oh, 
No one is helping me. <laughs> so many guys upstairs and no one was fighting that guy. Um, so let's go... Let's go knight for, for now. Maybe we can take it. So as you can see, the knight is very, very slow, but he has more health and he has a lot more armor and uh, doesn't do a lot of damage. But he has those health potions, healing potions, and also the box shops you can eat to heal up. They also give you a bit of regen, so they they are pretty good. They're like it's like old school Minecraft healing um, before the the hung update. You eat, eat the you eat the food for health and not for for food. Okay, felt like you had to get rid of that guy. Uh, it's also a bit harder to make those jumps, so let's preemptively take a healing pot just in case there's a bunch of berserkers up here, and there are. Trying to focus the uh, light armor guys. It's not always that easy to see where, who are you who you're actually fighting against. That's a red tank that's slow, maybe he can go down. Oh no, he's drinking. Still had potions. Two Berserker. I would like to get him. Where did he go? Heal with a bog chop. He's a, I think he's a cleric. He has splash potions, so we should try to get rid of him uh, because he can team heal, which is very powerful, obviously. So red. Berserker and yeah we got him. Didn't have any armor. I don't know what classes those exactly are. I haven't really looked too much into the unlockable classes. I just know there's ah, I don't know what was that, but <laughs> I think it was Berserker that I didn't see. Did a lot of damage. Um, so blue is still controlling it, so go red side. My team is a little bit upset, or got some guys on my team are upset. Yeah, we're not we're not doing very good here. I think personally, I've been doing okay. Um, I don't know, could have been better. There's still archers out here shooting. That's annoying, but not that big a deal because they're terrible shots. Oh, there's a bunch of green guys, so maybe one more push for us. I hear. Rage potions going off. Okay, now we're taking it. Looks like. The green king controls the castle. So we control the castle now. We only need to hold it for I don't know how, how much time that is. Maybe a minute or two. Just need to focus down the damage dealers, and everything's gonna be okay. I think we have a few tanks up here. Just need yes, very good, very good. Another blue guy down. I still have two potions, that's good. That's only a tank. He won't do that much to us, I think. We won't be able to kill him though. Without damage, but there's a Berserker. A teammate come up, okay. I think we can... Nope, I thought we had him. Come on, go down, go down, go down. I think he has one more potion, yeah. At least one more. So now we are enemy number one. Red and blue is coming up and we haven't got any reinforcements. So it's really hard for us to hold it now. I think I'm gonna let those red and blue guys fight each other. Leave me alone, man. Portion in and oh, there's a berserker. We need to get him. He's healing. He can run away. That's the bad part, and no one's helping. I think the I can. Of the green yes. Have won the wow. Game. So we won the game. <laughs> I didn't really expect it. I forgot to. Check the time, but we won the game, so very nice. We got a level up out of this. 
maybe another one. Yes, another level up. Oh, I got a ton of XP. So we're here in the lobby now. Let's maybe take a quick look around since it's a, sort of a short episode otherwise. Yes, all my pennies. Um, let's open the loot chest, see what we get. A bunch of gold, loot bag, a few pennies and more gold. So we're just gonna send the gold to our bank. So yeah, that's the that's the lobby. Uh, it's a huge tree with glass leaves. Uh, looks kind of cool. Um, there's the Camelot area over here. Um, up here is the portal to enter Camelot games. There's those golden pressure blades that you can jump off of, and you know, so you travel quickly around the lobby. But there's also the warp star, which you can use to teleport to the game. So there's, uh, there's the training servers, uh, which help you learn how to play games. Uh, I don't know if they are set up now, but there's definitely training servers for Camelot, so uh, if you want to look into the classes or you know, to check around the map or something like that, that's the place to, to go. Uh, there's Dwarf vs. Zombies, we can go, to, can go there as well. So here's the portal for Dwarf vs. Zombies, and uh, here's the guys, Jimmy's, uh, selling the upgrades, which you can spend all your gold on. Um, it's nothing really game-changing, it's just uh, a, few, a few upgrades are really uh, necessary, I think, to play. What's the There's the powerful rampage, which is the old school proc if you ever played um, Dwarf of the Zombies before. It's the, the buff you get when you kill a monster with your sword uh, that lets you insta kill mobs for a few seconds. It, you really need that, and the bow upgrades you also need because otherwise your you know your bow are, is pretty useless. But the other upgrades are just you know for I guess to support your laziness. They give you torches and, you know, it's just resources you otherwise would have to farm in the game and uh, you can start out with more stuff and less need to farm, so that's good, I think. Up here is the old man Willikas statue with his Excalibur Chew sword and uh, the Chews, the Dwarven, what's it called? Potion, whatever. I think it's ale, um, healing ale, and over there is a new game mode that's not yet available, but should be sometime soon. It's the Wizard Academy, what's it called, tournament? I think. Oh, what am I doing? Yes, Wizard Academy tournament, uh, which is going to be a Wizard PvP tournament, uh, sort of like the old Golden Monocle. If you ever played that on the gym, on Bruce's gym, or on the first iteration of the Play Minecraft server. There's also Pajama Champ Time, which is going to be party mini games, but it's not yet implemented. Um, then there's the arcade, which features uh, the old Golden Monocle Powered Shoes, which is a, a bow based game. The survival games, which are basically basically uh, a higher game version of, of Minecraft here. And uh, Museum and uh, the uh, Minecraft towns are there. Then there's, the, oh, there's even a direct. Uh, teleport for the Minecraft survival games and the bank which is here and there you can check how much gold you have. I have 595 gold so I, I could get another upgrade, I could get a class unlocked for Camelot or get the uh, third tier of the Brock unlocked. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet though. Um, so yeah, over here is the pajama Cham time and let's, why not, let's go to the Arcade as well. Uh, for some reason, the arcade is this weird Asian looking place. I don't know. <laughs> so, I guess that concludes my first episode of Camelot. Um, um, yeah, I think it's a, a pretty fun game mode. Uh, very quick games. I mean, the, the Dwarfs vs. Zombies are uh, still my, my favorite game on here, but those games take, you know, about an hour usually. Maybe a little less, depending on how, how good the dwarves are, um, how quickly they lose. But if you only have you know limited time and for, for video's sake, I think Camelot is great. Um, 20 minutes, easily enough time for a game and some extra talk, so that's good. If you want to check out those mini games, go to uh, add the Minecraft, Play Minecraft server to your service list. The IP is us.playmindcrack.com. There's also a website if you want any more information, uh, at, which is playmindcrack.com. Um, don't worry if you are not US-based, the uh, servers are East Coast, so as you know, as a European, you should have decent ping. 
I am European and ping is decent. It's not great, but it's it's very playable. Uh, I know there were issues at first when the Play Minecraft server launched. Uh, I think they they had their servers on the west coast, and it was really unplayable for me uh, back then. But now it's not not an issue at all. Um, yeah, there's also uh, a patron status that you can unlock by actually donating to the server. Oh, I think it's ten bucks a month, ten dollars. So yeah, if you it gives you extra gold and extra experience in games and extra loot chests and stuff like that, and you can uh, access reserved slots uh, on games that are already full for non-patrons and. Uh, I actually let's let's talk about this as well. I have a patron passport uh, for 30 days. It's 25 days remaining. I did not pay for it though. I won it. Um, and if you if you're interested in that, I'm not sure if he's still doing those giveaways, but uh, he might be. And even if he isn't, you should still check him out. Uh, the guy I won the the, the patron status of is H C Justin. Uh, he's part of the Buffalo Wizards, which is uh, a group of YouTubers uh, led by Old Man Wilkers, who is the guy behind the Play Minecraft server, basically. And uh, so go check out Justin. He's on Twitch, I think. His name is HC Justin there, and on YouTube as well. And on Twitter, it's HC Justin with two N's, so an extra N at the end, because the other version of the name was already taken. I'm gonna link those in the description as well. Uh, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the episode. Um, leave a comment if you, you know, uh, have anything to say, any feedback, any questions to the classes. I'm not sure if I did a good job of explaining everything, how the game exactly works, because I was busy, you know, killing people. Um, yeah, I actually wanted to talk about the game before jumping in, but it took a while uh, for a game to get started because uh, it's not a very it's pretty early still in the US, so there's not a lot of, a lot of people online, so it took a while for Camelot Gaming to open, and uh, I didn't know how long it would take, so I needed the game to start before I could uh, start recording, otherwise it would have been very complicated. So yeah, uh, I'm rambling again. So thank you guys for watching, and we'll, well, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.